avoided if he had managed the banking sector or the financial sector well. So he the had point, made the, clearly. The, 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 the point, point I was trying to make was that they say that we didn't even need to spend the 25 billion, which has been ballooning from 9 billion to this billion to 17 to 20 to 21 I, I to 24 and all of that. He says, yes, I, I agree with you. We've spent this amount of money, but we didn't have to go there. That was not going to be our approach in dealing with the problems that I agree that the banks had. That is what he's saying. But and I find that's part of the hypocrisy. First of all, indeed, he, he built some of the banks out. He did. And the money he gave to the you should go and read the asset quality review. And the money he gave to the bank, the banks ended up spending the money. Mm. So that solution that he was preferring or he preferred then did not even work. To the extent that when you read paragraph uh, page 20 of the last state of the nation's address by himself, he admitted that the policy that we have implemented, they are not working. Mm. That is why we have to do something different and dramatic and drastic. And of course, he was talking about the fact that some people will lose their jobs and some, you know, I mean, uh, people uh, locally, they have lost their businesses and all of that. But how about the 1.2 million Ghanaians? How about the 4.5 million depositors who could have lost their money as a result of this incompetence? So clearly for me, again, I want to make the point that the NDC clearly is not the alternative. Yesterday, listening to him and the 13 points that he raised. And all the 13 points have been addressed by the MPP administration. And we are making steady progress.